Hi everyone, my name is Keso and today I will be explaining the new Java 17 features in under 5 minutes. So first an important note about Java's release cycle. Since Java 10, Java is on a 6 month release cycle. So even though Java 17 is a long term support version, there are no real major or exciting updates this version. So here we have a list of the JEPs or JDK enhancement proposals in Java 17. Uh, but to simplify this a little bit, I have divided all the JEPs in this version in four categories. So first we have some nice developer stuff. The second category is some specific developer stuff. Then we have some keeping up with Apple stuff. And the last category is cleaning up stuff. Also important. So first, the nice developer stuff, we have two JEPs. That is the pattern matching for switch and sealed classes. JEP 406 expands switch statements by allowing patterns in the case tables. They also added a special case null, so you don't have to check for null any longer. And two new patterns were added, guarded and parenthesized patterns. So what does this look like? Previously, if you wanted to check for multiple patterns on an object, you could write a string of if-else statements like this. By adding patterns to the switch statement, you could simplify the code like this. Here, integer i is the pattern, and if the pattern is met, if the object is an integer, then i is also the reference to the object. And it's possible to add further refinement to the pattern with a guarded pattern, where you add a boolean expression after two ampersands. Then we have JAP409, which adds sealed classes. Sealed classes and interfaces restrict which other classes may extend or implement them. They use the sealed modifier in the declaration of the class and then have your permits clause to specify what classes are allowed to extend the sealed class. These subclasses must be final, sealed or non-sealed. This is a new keyword which you use when you specifically do want to extend one of the subclasses of a sealed class. Then we have some JEPs that are interesting for more specific use cases. First is JEP 306. They make floating point operations more consistent. This has to do with some CPUs and how they treat floats differently or under the hood use a double. They should be more consistent in JDK 17. Then we have JEP 356, which adds new interfaces and implementations for pseudo-random number generators. They also better support streams. JEP 403 is a continuation of a trend since Java 9 to encapsulate the internal non-critical APIs of the JDK, which devs shouldn't use. SunMisk on safe is deemed critical and remains usable till there are proper alternatives. Then there is JEP 412, which introduces an API by which Java programs can interoperate with code and data outside of the Java runtime. This was already possible with JNI, but this new API should be easier, safer, and more performant. In JEP 414, the Vector API returns in a second incubator. The API allows vector computations, and again, these should be easier, more reliable, and more performant than the previous incubation. Last in this category is JEP 415, which allows us to add context-specific deserialization filters. Deserialization is a risky business, and this can provide another layer of security when deserializing untrusted stuff. In the third category, we have two JEPs that are Apple specific. The first one, JEP 382, adds a Java 2D rendering pipeline that uses the Apple Metal API instead of the deprecated OpenGL API. This is used in Swing, for example, and the new Metal API is more performant in some areas. The other JEP has to do with the Apple Silicon and ports the JDK to their new ARM64 architecture. The last category with JEPs is Cleanup. In JEP 398, the applet API is removed. It had been deprecated for years and most browsers don't even support it anymore. The next JEP removed the RMI activation mechanism. RMI is still used and remains in the JDK, but the activation mechanism is obsolete and is therefore removed. Then there is JEP 410, where they removed the experimental AOT and GIT compiler Graal. It was hardly used from the JDK and most people use Graal VM nowadays. The last JEP is 411, where they deprecated the security manager, which is ancient and hasn't been relevant for a long time anymore. Okay, these are all the new features in Java 17. I hope this was a useful video, and if you want more information, check out the information on the JEPs on the OpenJDK website. See you in the next one!